about a month into session now, Senator, and having the first floor debate of the year that included your bill for in-home care, Senate Bill 567. Had some floor debate on it, stood out there for three or four hours, was not able to get anything done with it, but that's just round one. And so we're out to protect the nursing homes and the home health care. The minority party is not very fond of what we're doing. And so it's going to take a little bit of work, but we're negotiating and trying to get a path through this. And so I think our odds are still 50-50 to get something done. I wish it's 90-10 or 99% chance, but just realistically, it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of time, a lot of bases to cover. And so right now we've laid the bill over and we're working with the minority party trying to reach compromises. So that's where that one's at. It is interesting. We are four weeks in this session already and a lot happening and it is 20 weeks. Yeah, we're in Jeff City 20 weeks. And so it is going fast, just kind of like life does. Moving fast. We're doing a lot of bills right now and fastest I've seen the past several years trying to get things done and staying away from a few controversial things until we can get some basic stuff done for the constituents of Missouri. This is a big week. Governor presented his budget to us. Normally he does that during the state of the state and he did not do that but he presented it to us. There's going to be a lot of disagreements between the House and Senate and the governor's budget. He cut higher ed again, second year in a row, making it tough on him. And I think all agencies, whether it be state or whether it be all colleges, universities, need to go through a time where they have to tighten their budget and see what's important. I was proud of MSU and they dropped their hours to graduate from 125 to 120 and a huge savings. So as long as they don't drop any courses of any significance, then still put out a quality education. Those folks can get a job. I see good things happening like that. That's a big part of it is sifting through the proposal from the governor and then what seems like a good deal of time from now through the first part of May, but realistically, when you're working on it, it <laughs> goes by very yeah. fast. Yeah, it does. It really does. And the universities, like I say, we've cut and cut and cut, and then we've froze their tuition where they can't raise much tuition. So it is putting them in a bind, and higher education is definitely important in the state of Missouri. The new president of the University of Missouri had several contacts with him, and at first I figured he would just be someone highly educated and without the basic Ozark common sense I like to refer to, but haven't found him to be that way. He came in one night as we were having dinner and, and he just sat down and ordered a hamburger and general chatting and we had a fundraiser and get out a little bit early that night about seven o'clock. We go out in the bowling alley and we raise I think $6,500 for some charity and have a good time. It's good to get everybody together on a relaxed atmosphere. But here he shows up at the front door and goes out there and bowls with us, has a good time and found out yesterday whenever he visits the campus at Kansas City or St. Louis, all the former presidents would get in an airplane and fly. He gets on a Greyhound bus and goes. $15 round trip. Just common sense stuff stuff like that. And that's just his attitude. I'm going to show you that I'm not wasting money. I thought that was pretty cool. Doesn't want to take a university car. Doesn't want a driver. He'll just get on a Greyhound bus, socialize with people, and go up there and get his job done at St. Louis or Kansas City and come back home. And I was impressed with that. Someone that, that's watching over the taxpayers' dollars that much. With his attitude, I think that the University of Missouri is on the right road. And I'm sure he'll learn something from our campuses in Springfield and from West Plains.